okay guys so now here you can see that i'm using windows 8 so this is the windows 8 this is the infamous start screen of the windows 8 so now you can see that here my internet connection is not working it is showing no internet access and this has been for around say uh, half an hour or hour and a half so now what i'm going to do is try to fix this problem so the first thing you have to do is click uh, right click on this option that is showing the internet connection is not working so right click it open network and sharing center okay so here is the uh, network and the sharing centers you can also open this uh, from an alternate way that is go to say my computer go to control panel from here uh, go to network and internet settings from here go to network and sharing center so here is your network and sharing center uh, so from here you go to this change and adapter settings option click on this it opens the network connections that uh, that is currently available to you so you uh, so i have uh, this bluetooth network connection this is ethernet connection and this is the wi-fi connection i usually use my wi-fi for uh, using the internet on my laptop but uh, as my as i am fixing this LAN connection right now so i would be using the ethernet option so in this ethernet option right click it go to properties or alternately you can do this do this I'll double click on this ethernet option this ethernet status opens click on the properties now scroll down go to this internet protocol version 4 tcp ip v4 double click it now here you can see that uh, the normal that is the default option is obtain an ip address automatically and use the following dns uh, obtain the dns server address automatically this is the default options so as this, this uh, default option is not working so we are going to use an alternate way now for this alternate method we will click on this use the ip use the following ip address now for this ip address you have to enter 192.168.1.101 for this subnet mask you don't have to enter anything just click on the subnet mask in the given field and the parameters come automatically now uh, default gateway is 192.168.1.101 now this uh, preferred DNS server this is 192.168 this should be same as the default gateway alternate alternate DNS server address this should be 218.248.240 and 23 now uh, the most important part for this is uh, you have to click on this validate settings option upon exit so click it check the option and click ok now click ok over here you will see the windows network diagnostic option automatically appears it is detecting for the problems so at first uh, when you, you would have been doing this uh, network diagnostic option this would have been showing a lot of problems but now as you see troubleshooting couldn't identify in the problems so click close we have uh, done the right thing and uh, see over here the net connection is working So go to Mozilla or uh, Windows or Chrome, whichever browser you are using. And this is the favorite site that we use for checking the if the internet connection is working properly or not. See, it's working. So do any random search. It's working. See. So let's do a legitimate search. Say uh, code blocks. See, it's working. Okay. I've been using this on the Windows 8 system, but uh, you can do this on Windows 7 also. It works quite perfectly well. Thanks, enjoy.